How aerosols influence climate. What are aerosols? Aerosols are tiny liquid and solid particles that are suspended in air. Unlike cloud droplets, aerosols are present in dry air. Aerosols are composed of a wide array of materials including soil, smoke, sea salt, and sulfuric acid. Aerosols are generated both naturally and from humans. Aerosols have a great impact on climate. Aerosol generation. Natural sources of aerosols. Dust storms, volcanoes, ocean waves, forest fires. These produce aerosols consisting of soil, smoke, sea salt, and sulfuric acid. Human generation of aerosols. Combustion of fossil fuels, burning vegetation for agriculture. Both of these produce sulfur dioxide, which are converted in the atmosphere into sulfate aerosols which give us acid rain. How do aerosols affect climate? Aerosols reflect sunlight back to space and make clouds brighter. Many aerosols attract water, thus act as an effective cloud nuclei. Add in the large quantities of aerosols produced by humans and this reaction is magnified. The larger percentage of the small droplet concentrations increase the cloud's brightness causing more sunlight to be reflected back to space. This all leads to cooling. If aerosols cause cooling, then what is black carbon? Black carbon is soot generated from the combustion process and fires. Unlike other aerosols, black carbon warms the atmosphere. It does this by absorbing incoming solar radiation. When deposited on snow and ice, it increases the amount of light absorbed. Although black carbon has a warming effect, the overall effect of all aerosols is to cool the earth. Aerosols offsetting global warming. Studies have indicated that the cooling effects of human-generated aerosols offset some portion of global warming caused by increasing amounts of greenhouse gases. The amount that the aerosols affects offset greenhouse gases is uncertain. Understanding this is a significant hurdle that will dramatically increase our understanding of how humans alter Earth's climate. Differences between greenhouse gases and aerosols. Aerosols have an overall cooling effect. Aerosols remain in the troposphere for days or weeks until washed out by precipitation. Short atmospheric lifetime leads to uneven distribution, mainly concentrated around industrial and agricultural areas. Short lifetime also means that the effects of aerosols on today's climate is determined by the preceding couple of weeks. Greenhouse gases, on the other hand, have an overall warming effect. Gases remain in the atmosphere for many decades. Long atmospheric life leads to more even distribution. The long lifetime of carbon dioxide and trace gases means that they affect the climate for decades. What to address in your responses? What are the main sources of human-generated aerosols? What effect does black carbon have on atmospheric temperatures? What is the net effect of aerosols on temperatures in the troposphere? How long do aerosols remain in the atmosphere before they are removed? How does the residence time of aerosols compare to that of carbon dioxide?